Good morning, thanks for your company this Thursday the 16th of June. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well yesterday our local market extended its losses, falling 1.3% or 85 points to close at 6,601. This comes as investors digested rising interest rate forecasts and an increase to the minimum wage. We also got an update on consumer confidence for June, which fell 4.5% month over month back to levels seen at the beginning of the pandemic. Now confidence was weighed down by surging prices and expectations of further interest rate hikes. So looking at the sector performances, losses were seen across the board, with all 11 industry sectors in the red. The tech sector was down the most as it's quite sensitive to interest rates due to their high price to earnings ratios and low dividend payments. The best performer yesterday was medical device company Polynovo PNV, despite no announcements out from the company. However, insider buying action amongst its senior managers has likely propped up its share price and overall sentiment. Other top performers included Linus Rare Earths, LYC, Suncorp, SUN, and ComputerShare, CPU. Meanwhile, the worst performers included tech companies like Novonix, NVX, Megaport, MP1, and Block, SQ2. And the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients yesterday were ANZ, Insignia Financial, IFL, and Lake Resources, LKE. Moving to the US, as widely expected, the US Federal Reserve lifted rates by 75 basis points, the biggest increase made in almost 30 years. Stocks rallied as Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell noted that a 50 or 75 basis point increase seems most likely at its next meeting in July highlighting the central bank's commitment to fighting inflation. So we, all, we saw all three benchmarks push higher, with the Nasdaq up the most, rising 2.5%. Now in terms of what to watch today, following the US market's positive session, our local market is set for a positive day, with a SPY future suggesting a lift of 0.4% at the open. Economic news-wise, the latest jobs figures will be released today, with the May unemployment rate expected to remain steady on forecasts of a small gain in jobs across the economy. Keep an eye on Coronado Global CRN. Its share price might see a lift today after news that the coal miner has been added to the ASX 200 index, replacing Crown Resorts, which has been delisted following Blackstone's takeover. In commodities, oil prices tumbled over 2% amid concerns that rising interest rates would impact demand. The WTI crude oil price now trades at around US $116 a barrel. Gold prices retreated from their highs of the day after the rate hike. Now remember, although gold is considered a hedge against inflation, rate hikes increase the opportunity costs of holding non-yielding bullion. And the spot iron ore price is trading 0.7% lower at US $136 a tonne. Lastly, if you hold a medical device company ResMed RMD, you will receive your dividend payment today. Now let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. Bell Potter have maintained its buy rating on hardware company Coventry Group, CYG, with a reduced price target from $2 to $1.70. Bell Potter sees Coventry as a business that is fast approaching an inflection point in recovery, with market share in Australia being recouped at pace and importantly, little cost to gross margin. Now at its current share price of $1.20, this implies about 42% share price growth in a year. Finally, Trading Central has a bearish signal on Duxton Farms, DBF, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $1.68 to the range of $1.40 to $1.46 in the next 111 days, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that is all for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a lovely day and happy trading.